Joining us now, a senator in the center of all of this, Senator Al Franken of Minnesota, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Senator, thank you very much for joining us tonight on this on this very, very busy night. Uh, give us the state of play on the Senate floor now. We saw these nine defections from Mitch McConnell on this first vote. Yeah, this was a bill uh, or a vote on, uh, I mean, basically a vote to go to uh, this bill has uh, the Cruz Amendment, which would allow insurance companies to put out junk plans. Uh, I'm sure some of the defections were about that. Uh, it also is scored to lose uh, about 22 million people would lose their health care, people with pre existing conditions because of the Cruz Amendment, especially, but also because of the waivers that sta states can give to insurance companies. People with pre-existing conditions lose their protection. This is just one of the many terrible Republican bills that we've seen. They've had seven years to come up with something to repeal and replace this. They have not been able to come up with anything that isn't just terrible. Uh, the latest polls have about a 17 percent approval rating on, on their latest bill. Let's listen to uh, something else that Senator John McCain said on the Senate floor today. We tried to do this by coming up with a proposal behind closed doors in consultation with the administration, then springing it on skeptical members, trying to convince them that it's better than nothing. That it's better than nothing? Asking us to swallow our doubts and force it past a unified opposition. I don't think that's going to work in the end, and probably shouldn't. And after that, some people are struggling tonight to make sense of John McCain's vote uh, with Mitch McConnell, but, but technically, it was a procedural vote to then go to the issue, and I suppose it's conceivable John McCain would have voted against the actual bill once you got to that vote, uh, but he certainly is confusing people. Well, yeah, I think someone giving that speech could have, <laughs> would have <laughs> normally voted against uh, this and gone to regular order, gone to the help committee on which I sit, the Health, Education, Labor, and Benching Committee, and done this through regular order. The main thing is we can't we, we have to do everything to make sure that Mitch McConnell is not successful, and we need your audience to make their voices heard. Make your voices heard. Everybody listening or watching the show, please, please do everything you can to make your voices heard. Uh, Senator, uh, t talk to us about what difference that has made so far in this process. I saw you were out in front of the Capitol today uh, speaking to a crowd out there, and you were using that phrase, regular order, that John McCain had used uh, on the Senate floor. But tell us what it has meant to you as senators and what you can feel in the chamber from the input from voters out there who've been going to the town halls and gathering, including, by the way, this protest in the Senate chamber today, the likes of which I have never seen, uh, yeah. Mitch McConnell trying to bring this to a vote and getting shouted down by people in the gallery. Well, I think it makes a very big difference uh, when senators uh, believe that they will lose the next election if they vote for this. And we need one more defection, uh, including uh, Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins. Uh, to defeat whatever comes this way. And uh, that's uh, just uh, uh, so important. And there's a number of uh, senators who are hear these messages loud and clear. Is anyone uh, talking to Senator McCain about what he meant today? Any Democrats saying, where, what are you going to do on, these, on the rest of these votes as they come up? Uh, you know, today we were sort of... Um, uh, just signaling our respect and love for him. I think uh, tomorrow uh, we'll maybe asking tougher questions. Uh, to, to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, obviously we're at a crossroads with a president and attorney general, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Uh, what do Democrats want in this? Do, do Democrats who voted against Jeff Sessions' confirmation want him to resign? Is Jeff Sessions now the attorney general that the Democrats want, given the possible alternatives? Well, I voted against Jeff Sessions, and I think 
as a lot of your viewers know, uh, I wasn't happy with some of the answers he gave to my questions, including one that uh, where he, he his answer was untruthful. Uh, Senator Grassley, uh, the chairman of the committee, and all of the Democrats on the committee want him to come and testify uh, before us. Uh, he is the head of the Justice Department. We're the Judiciary Committee. We have oversight. He should come back and explain himself. But this idea of the president uh, firing him so that he can re so he can appoint, do a recess appointment of an attorney uh, general who can then fire Mueller, that's a constitutional crisis. That would create a constitutional crisis. What do you think the Republican Senate reaction would be to that? I, I hope that it would be outrage, and uh, I would hope that Congress would rise to the moment and uh, do a new special counsel or a special prosecutor law and reappoint Bob Mueller to head that. Uh, what, do you, what do you expect uh, to, when is the next time you expect the Judiciary Committee to hear from Jeff Sessions? Is he refusing to testify to the committee that has jurisdiction over his department? I don't know the answer to that. I did talk to Chairman uh, Grassley today, and uh, we agreed that we want him to appear before us. Uh, I didn't get into uh, uh, the timing or the request. Uh, it seems that some Republican senators have stepped forward in, in what sounds like defense of Jeff Sessions and, and kind of indirectly, some of them more directly, warning the president uh, that he should not fire Jeff Sessions. Uh, do you expect, uh, if that moment comes, more senators, more Republican senators to stand with Jeff Sessions than the president? Uh, I, I, I did hear in Judiciary Committee today uh, a couple of members, Republican members, express their support for uh, the Attorney General, and it sounded like warnings to the President. Uh, that's why I, I believe that if he does this, it will be a constitutional crisis and that Republicans will rise to the occasion. At least I certainly hope so. Senator Al Franken, thank you very much for joining us on this important night. Really appreciate it. Uh, you're very welcome. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.